Hello, this is Mike, and this is an updated pH meter for the Arduino. It's using one of the, the analog pH meters from DF Robot, but any analog pH meter will work with this. There'll be an I2C tutorial coming up soon as well. Um, so what, what what you've got usually when you buy a pH meter for a microcontroller is you get your pH interface, you get your meter, this is one of the pro meters which lasts a bit longer from DF Robot and this is but the code and script will also work with one of these cheaper, less reliable probes. Um, so, what does it do? It takes the reading from the MCU and gives you the pH value. It will also calibrate. It's also got a routine for calibrating. It will give you a probe life so you know when your probe's going to run out of... Uh, when your probe's about to break, you'll know. It won't, it won't catch you off guard anymore, which is a problem I always had. So what do you do? You need an Arduino Mega, an LCD screen with buttons. Try and get the one off uh, eBay or DF Robot that looks like this. They're pretty cheap. Uh, you'll need your pH 7 buffer, some distilled water, and some pH 4 buffer, which are in these caps now. You'll need your Mega, your interface, and your probe. We'll be using this... Uh, DF robot probe today. So start off by connecting your pH meter, connecting your LCD screen, sorry. Connect your pH probe. So there we go, get your, get your probe, plug it in, and now all you need to do is power it off uh, your computer or 12 volt power source. So the screen will boot up, it'll tell you a little bit about the code, what buttons to press. And it's got a couple of screens on there for useful information. The code's on the link below, by the way. So if you look, the first screen will give you the pH, and that would be the temperature if I plug the probe in, but I've not. It'll give you the min and max pH, is like seen in temperatures. It'll give you your probe health. Now, this is a re the really useful one. You can't, you don't get this on any other code I've seen or anything but very very high end meters you got a calibration screen you got your days since calibration it'll give you a warning if it needs calibrating it'll give you an uptime counter so what do we do we come down to calibrate take your probe out and like it says on the screen hold select to calibrate So just rinse your probe, put it in the pH 7 and hold select. Is the probe in pH 7, right. So now it's just counting down a timer because to get a good calibration we need the probe to be in the liquid for 60 seconds. And now the timer's coming to an end. So it's calibrated, select to save, down to exit if you don't want to, or you put it in the wrong pH. So we'll hold select, and it gives us our offset. Now it tells you to rinse and place it in pH 4, so that means rinse it in some distilled water, place it in pH 4, and press right. Now what, what this does now is it calibrates the pH 4 value as well, and it'll also, it takes two minutes, it'll also check the probe life. If you want to know a little bit more about how we check the probe life, probe life, check the blogs out. But for now, all you need to know is every time you calibrate those health, the health screen's updated, so it'll it'll tell you if your probe's in good health or bad health. Uh, 
Um, just why we've got a bit of time now, actually. I'll talk about how accurate it is. This is a very quite an expensive pH meter from Blue Labs. And in comparison, they show the same results, just as accurate. This doesn't have the capabilities for testing probe health, unfortunately. So now it's finished the calibration, it's just checking the health of the probe. So I'll cut the video back in 60 seconds. And we're back. So it's saying the probe condition's good. If it wasn't, it would say bad. So press right to exit. Our pH is 4. Let's click back up to the probe health. hundred percent eighty four and ninety seven so I've been using this pH probe from DF robot for a few months now and it's still in pretty good condition now I'm going to speed the video up why we do the same thing with a cheaper probe which has been used for a bit a little bit longer and isn't lasting so this probe gives good good readings when it's calibrated but it's near the end of its life so let's see how the con how this controller if that controller can sense that so let's have a look at its health its health one's zero its health two is 86 and its health three is 74 so this probe's actually failed by its first health factor. Um, it still reads pH quite well, like we've put it back in the 7. If we put it back in the 7 it will slowly go back up to 7. self-checking pH probe health wise uh, if you want to know how it works check the blog out the codes on the blog as well and I definitely recommend one of these sturdier pH probes uh, keep watching for more videos